Hey everybody, welcome back to Letterman Row. I am Austin Ward. This is Buckeye Q. That's Bobby Carpenter. It is linebacker week. We got to have one of the best in school history in here to talk about the Buckeyes. And this guy in particular, Bobby, I, you've probably known Justin Hilliard for a decade at this point. A 60 year senior, you know, five star recruit, in state recruit, a guy who's really battled injuries and a bunch of tough setbacks, but he got on the field a little bit last year and he got that medical red shirt, still got a chance to help the Buckeyes. Austin, battling injuries might be the understatement okay. of the year. I've never seen anybody it, in their brief career, when I mean in college, you know, over a five-year period, you got the sixth year, obviously, but I have two bicep tears and an Achilles tear. <laughs> different biceps. <laughs> different biceps. I mean, and I looked at them like, this is not even real. Like, I, And first of all, I give them immense credit. The rehabs from those are absolutely atrocious. They're very, very difficult to come back from. So the mental fortitude to continue to drive through that, He's a great kid. He has a great attitude. He sees the field well. Uh, athletically, there's some things that he can do really well. There's mm -hmm. some things that he struggles a little bit with. But and that's going to come when you start to have all those injuries. Your bodies <laughs> begin to fail you some. But he's a great kid. And he can be a huge asset to the team this season. So where would you put it, Justin Hilliard? If Al Washington's trying to put these pieces together, he's got seven linebackers, really, that could play with some experience. Where where would the ideal spot for yeah, him be? That's the question. How does he fit into the mix? Yeah. And because they have a lot of guys that are very diverse in what they're able to provide. And so I look at a guy like Justin Hilliard and what he can do. He's smart. He's physical. He's very instinctive. He's a great leader. He's a guy in critical situations you can count on. And you saw last year against Wisconsin. They went to some of that 4-4 stuff. He's the guy they put in there. They, he knew that he was going to capture the edge. He could do the things. He wouldn't let guys outside of him. He'd be a physical run defender. So to me, he's that guy you're going to want to bring in short yardage situations, goal line situations, some first down stuff, rotating him through there. You're going to want his leadership in those times. You're going to be able to want his signal calling, especially when it's loud, to make sure everybody's lined up. And so those are the things that he can bring you in very specific situations that he can excel. If you're going to ask him to go out there on a third and 14 and cover a tight end, like that's not going mm -hmm. to be a strength. You can get him in there. He can spy. He can do a little bit of rushing the passer. But you want to make sure that you tailor what he, what he does, you know, can do to what he does well. And I think that, you know, Al and those guys are, have done a tremendous job of that. Yeah, Ohio State was able to find some ways to get Justin Hilliard a little bit healthy and a little bit more involved last year. One more opportunity to do so this year. Bobby's going to break down how right now. Let's roll the tape. All right, Bobby, uh, year six for Justin Hilliard. We're going to look back at year five here. It, finally getting healthy. I was a little bit surprised he was even able to play, but here he, he looked like he was close to himself again. Yeah, so here you watch him. He's playing Sam linebacker. He's out on the edge, kind of overhang. You see the tight end squeeze down. And this is something here that Justin Hilliard, you know, he's not as athletic as Baron Browning, but you watch him squeeze down. He eliminates the space. And then these RPOs, these zone reads, you want to make sure you can take care of your responsibility and help it make, make it easier on other guys. So he squeezes it down, should the quarterback keep. And then he has the speed and athleticism here. As you watch the corner help, the nickels help seal it up. He's able to run inside out, make the play, get the guy on the ground for a three, four yard loss. Like that, that's invaluable. He's doing exactly what he's supposed to do. There's limited wasted footwork. He attacks right there outside of a false step at the beginning and then does a great job of making the play. That's also probably one of those perks of being a veteran who's been around as long as he has he's even if he hasn't got to execute all these reps he's seen everything for five years right oh absolutely and this is another thing like you see the reaction here he knows exactly what's coming they've watched this they've repped it they're pulling around they pull the guard but he saw that tight end arc release to him and so he didn't sink inside he took one step and then got back outside his job hold the force out here if this if this gets outside of him Granted, you have a corner that's coming free, but you never want to necessarily re rely on that. Mm -hmm. You can look at Justin. He gets the edge because who's running inside out? You've got three other guys right here coming to help you. And so the whole defense, he does a good job. And now he's to turn it back of one of the best running backs that came out of college football last year and Jonathan Taylor. But he's able to close it up, beat the block, get to the outside, continue to attack, head right there on the hip, reach up, grab, roll the leg textbook tackle of what they teach at Ohio State. Yeah, that's just one of those plays that I think people thought Justin Hilliard would always give the Buckeyes. And you know, this one is not quite the same as Jonathan Taylor in Wisconsin, but it's still another step in his evolution of getting back to helping the And defense. so right here at the beginning, you can see he's outside of the box. This is what's different from everything else. 
is you know there there's no tight end there's two or the tight ends here but there no one's there's it's a detached formation mm -hmm. tight end outside receiver and then two on the outside they're getting everybody out so he reads and reacts he's sitting here watching it he sees the number one receiver shut it down he's looking back at the quarterback and boom right now he triggers up and you can see him fire through here because he's the guy they're trying to get one on one and he has to beat the block of this tackle coming to him the tackle turns back because he knows he can't get him. Tight end can't get him. Mm -hmm. And he fires through here and is able to make the play. Those open field tackles that look really easy, they're <laughs> incredibly difficult. We're looking at this right now and like, oh, it doesn't seem like there's much space. There's a heck of a lot more space there than what people realize. And if he misses this tackle, you've got guys running inside out. But if he misses this, receiver can bend back outside. And now you're on one-on-one -on -one tackle at the corner that's for probably a three-yard gain at minimum. Mm -hmm. Justin's able to slide through here and make this for a loss. Yeah, and all of these, you, you could tell just talking to him last year how good it felt, but this one probably takes the cake given how important it was to the Buckeyes and really what amounted to the uh, East Division title game. Oh, this was highly critical. You see the score here. I mean, you're up by 11 points. They're driving the football. This is the chance to get it a one-score game again. And so what do you do? You have all your linebackers on the field right here. They're on a 4-4, and you can see him. He sinks back in there. And so he sees him step up and commit. And so as he steps up and commits right here, he thinks that he can sneak this back over the top. They're trying to throw, uh, he's trying to actually get it out of here. I think and he, he blows the read. The right <laughs> receiver is supposed to come across the middle. It should have just been an incompletion. And you see a lineup and play again, maybe you kick a field goal. But you see Justin's able to read out of that, keeps eyes back to the quarterback, come out here and make an unbelievable play. And does a terrific job. Actually, he's trying to throw it to tight end coming across the middle. It looks like a real mess in there. It's a mess <laughs> because they get it all the hot, they get it, uh, do a good job. And, and I think that's Pete Warner does a good job rerouting the tight end. But you see his eyes coming back, always looking back at the quarterback, is able to get in there. And this is a guy like been through a lot of injuries, torn Achilles, two torn biceps. Awesome to see him make that play. I was incredibly happy for Justin at that time. Yeah, one more year to maybe make some plays for the Buckeyes. Bobby Carpenter breaking down how Justin Hilliard might do it, uh, helping us out at Letterman Row for Buckeye Q. I'm Austin Ward. He's Bobby Carpenter. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Subscribe below to get the latest videos from Letterman Row. We've got Letterman Live. We've got the practice report. we got rapid reaction. Hey, and you know we got Buckeye Q with Zach Bourne. For sure. we got recruiting breakdowns with Berm. we got whatever you need. Ohio State football and Ohio State athletics, we've got you covered here at Letterman Row.